Our objective here at the Frontier Culture Museum in Stanton, Virginia, is to teach people how a unique American folk culture was created through the blending of European, African, and indigenous people's cultures. Right now we're on the English farm, and this house uh, comes from Worcestershire, England, in the West Midlands, and the time we're showing is 1620s to 1640s. The thing that I'd like to mention that kind of is a common thread is um, people are wanting to have a place of their own, whether it be English or Irish or German. If the oldest son gets everything, then the second and third sons are going to need to leave to go to, go to America if they want to have land. My name is Jerry Kester, and I'm a costume interpreter on the, the Scotch-Irish farm. Uh, the time period here is between 1720, 1740, and uh, this is the home of a farmer as well as a weaver. And 1720s, 40s, that's when these people start leaving Ireland to come to America because they want a better life. Economically, at the time, you'd say he was a strong farmer, but he was a Midland sort, which meant he was middle class. Definitely not the wealthiest round, but then again, far from being the poorest. And in the early years of the linen trade, everyone's making lots of money, so life is good. But then with the Depression, things started going bad really quick. A lot of people landed up in Philadelphia because Pennsylvania has set strong ties with the linen trades. And of course, you would either arrive in the, in the Delaware Valley or uh, Philadelphia. And of course, being farmers, you look for cheap land, so you come south on the Great Wagon Road, end up in some odd place called the Shenandoah Valley. We are at the 1740s American Settlement, so also known as the back country of the American colonies. Here, especially in comparison to the old world, very, very different. And it was difficult here. Climate is very different. Harsher summers and winters, which would affect your crops. It's also different in that it is very wooded, which is very different, especially if you're coming from Ireland, where they don't have as many trees um, and would have been making their homes out of stone as opposed to logs. So using the material that's available. Another big thing would be the kitchen garden that we have. And that would include crops that would have come over from Europe. Um, and a kitchen garden would have been a style that would have been used in Europe as well. We also have in the fields down that way, we have corn, beans, and squash, which was not um, a, an influence from the old world. It was an influence from the American Indians. So they were grown in all of the same mound. Uh, the corn, beans, and squash grew together, and the American Indians taught them how to do that. This is the first of a two-part series on the Frontier Culture Museum. Part two explores life on the early American frontier. You can watch this and other American artifacts programs anytime by visiting our website at cspan.org history.